estamos aqui com o Scott do Hair Dankness, o Seed Bank de Denver, Colorado. Uh, Scott, uh, we want to know about your work, what have you been doing here, your seeds, uh, your work in, in Colorado with Hair Dankness Seed Bank in Spain. Tell, tell us a little bit about your story. Uh, I've been breeding for about 15 years. Uh, before Rare Dankness, it was uh, Moonshine Seeds. Um, you know, when we kind of broke out and, and re-directed uh, ourselves to become a medical company, uh, that's when we changed the name. And uh, yeah, our first win was with Moonshine Haze over in Amsterdam in uh, 2011. And uh, yeah, man, Colorado is great. You know, with the uh, with the industry out there and legalization that's happened, um, it allows us to uh, you know work with numerous facilities, um, Rhino Supply, River Rock, uh, Green Man Cannabis. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of companies that we are allowed to uh, you know grow our product within their facilities so that we can test out seed lots and you know in great numbers. Cool. And here from from the strains that you have, uh, tell us uh, uh, which one would be one of the best for indoor growing and for outdoor, and also a CBD strain that people needs uh, for medical use. Well, for uh, indoor growing, you know, uh, you can't beat the Scott's OG. That's a triangle Kush with our rare dankness one. It's a very high THC strain, uh, lemon, pine, very cushy. Uh, it's a very heavy yielder too. Um, hydroponically, man, it just rips it. Uh, for outdoor growing or for production growing, I really, really like the Commerce City Kush. Uh, really easy trim plant, high calyx to leaf ratio, high THC. It makes great extracts. It's very hardy. Um, my favorite sativa, of course, is going to be Ghost Train Haze One, which uh, you know I guess is what I'm really known for at this point. Uh, it was the world's strongest strain for uh, a couple of years, and continues to be one of our best producers, uh, highest THC strains, and just really, really unique sativa genetics. Uh, and then CBDs, right now we're working on uh, some canatonic crosses, uh, some shack attack crosses, harlequin crosses, uh, but for me, I'm actually giving away all my CBD strains. Uh, we don't sell those seeds. Uh, you can email me and request and you know, we'll try to get them, get them to you in some form or fashion. But for me right now, the medical aspect of this industry, um, I just kind of have an issue with people making so much money off the patients for the CBDs. So I, I'm happy to provide those genetics for free to anybody who wants them. Okay, the mothers of many children in Brazil are now uh, uh, learning that CBD is very good for their children. So I will direct all those mothers to Scott from Hair Dankness so these mothers can grow the, their own medicine. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, I want to see this plant legal, available to everybody, uh, non demonized. You know, I want my mom to be able to grow this plant in Alabama, which, you know, if she did that now, she's, you know, she's an older lady. She'd go to jail for many, many years. I don't want that to happen. I want everybody to be able to grow cannabis. Do you think it's easy? Uh, anyone can grow at, at, at home, have a, a small home grow? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, people ask me all the time, what is my preferred method of growing? My answer to that is whatever it takes to get you to grow. If it's growing in dirt, grow in dirt. If it's growing hydroponically, grow hydroponically. If you want to grow in Legos with hand-watered newts, man, do it. You know, if that's what it takes to get you to grow a plant, grow that plant. Okay, man. Thank you so much, and keep doing this great work. Thank you. Thanks, man.